What's good, everybody? It's your boy. We back here on your favorite black male show. I know it's been a little sporadic, man. It's my bad. It's always my fault. The Brother Peel podcast. We got some great things happening for the Peel. Shout out to my brother, LAR Movement. We in the building. And I uh, want you guys to come in, like the video as you guys are, uh, you know, coming to the, to, to, the, to the room and all this. And, man, we got a great topic for my brother, man. What if black men and black women traded places? And that's why you see the thumbnail from the very famous movie Trading Places. Uh, go ahead, LAR, man. Introduce yourself, brother. Let us know what we're talking about tonight. Player. What's happening? It, it, it's, it's Robin Nightwing of the Peel. Uh, we about to get into this. Have a little fun. Uh, if y'all don't know what this is about, just follow the lead and roll with us on this one and just see if it makes sense. Because I bet oh. it's going to sound crazy. All right, all right, and let me just do this real quick, right? Well, I want to make a little uh before we um get our groove on. I want to say one thing, right? We need about 800 followers on the Facebook Negro Manosphere page, so I'm pushing that. So, if you guys we're gonna start posting content in the pill over there, um, and some other stuff that's not on YouTube, so make sure that you guys do me a favor if you have a Facebook account. Um, like and follow the Negro Manosphere on Facebook because we're going to be moving a lot of my a lot of our stuff over there and everything like that. So if you if you subscribe and, and like the Negro Manosphere and follow it, press one and I'll give you a shout out. Lar, why are we doing this video today? Because let's see if all of these, you know, if if something makes sense, it should make sense both ways. You know, this is this is where when somebody says they have a logical argument or a logical point of view, or they, they are really making sense, if you flip it around with them and the other person, it should make as much sense, right? That's why. So I'm betting this is not going to make as much sense. So where should we start? Start whenever. And shout out to Brother E-Man Perry. I seen you, family. He he, he got he had on a nice suit on this one, boy. He like he sells some bean pies. Shout out to Brother E-Man for the follow on the Negro Manosphere Facebook. Go ahead, Brother LAR. So let's talk about, you know, black men being unsuccessful, right? Right. Trade places, right. right? So if black women traded places with black men, how successful would they be? Mm-hmm. If, if black women invented all the things that black men invented in America, would they be considered successful? If 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 black women Wound up being uh, uh, started the civil rights movement. Would would that be successful? If 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 black women were the were you know Martina Luther King, Matt, I don't know Madeline X. Uh, uh, I don't know how Mega Mega is a different name. You know you know Marilyn Evers. You know what I'm saying? If that whole civil rights thing, you know, if Elijah Muhammad was a sister, right? Mm-hmm. How successful would they would we be? Matter of fact. Let's take it a little bit further. Uh, 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 Lonnie Johnson, Bob Johnson, um, mm-hmm. all of the the quote unquote athletes and entertainers, all of the businessmen, all of the all of the actually people who created things in our community. The brother that created the um, the Miss Black America pageant. My sister mm-hmm. said they wanted promotion, but that's been going on for fifty years, and they don't even act like it exists. Mm-hmm. So, and if we were the most, and the black men were the most educated group in America. Yet the black women still made more money than us. Would it make sense? You know, oh, <laughs> logic bomb, if I'm just saying, you know, is, is it logic? What's the problem? We're attacking black women. We're attacking you. Oh my God. We're bigoted. How are we black and bigoted with black people? And you know what? That's stupid. Don't even worry about it. Bitch, you couldn't shut a computer down, bitch. Get your motherfucking ass off my shit. You know. So let's just see if it makes sense. If we trade places, does it make sense? Right. You know, if 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 the black women did those things and the black men, you know, are the most educated and the black women make more money than the black men. Would we say, what would we say? Would the women say, oh, you guys are losers because y'all go to school more than we do, but we got more money than you? Would, would that, uh, is that what they would say? Mm-hmm. Would they say, you know what? How are we not successful when we've invented 
the vast majority of the things that America uses, even though they've stolen a lot of this stuff. We've created this stuff. Right. That is right. that what they would say, or would that or would they say they're failures? They would probably take credit for it. Mm -hmm. So if we trade places, what, what are we gonna do? You know, let, let's right. let's see. You know, if 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 we make the same contributions as the women, mm -hmm. because it seems like the ladies want to compete with the men, right? So let's see how your competition is going. Do you do you think they really want to compete, or or do you think they're just pretending to want to do that? I think they pretended, but they didn't talk too. They talk too much. <laughs> That's what I think. Okay. So so let's pull out the stats. You know okay, what I'm saying? Let's pull them out. And, and let's reverse the stats. You know. How you know black male billionaires and black male black male millionaires versus black female billionaires and black male billionaires millionaires or black female millionaires. Let's see who got more because. If we flip it around and all of the black, you know, and all of these black men who are billionaires and millionaires were women, and then all the women were men, mm -hmm. they would say, shut the hell up about who's killing it in the game, including the athletes and entertainers and excluding the athletes and entertainers. Right. They would say, what are you talking about? Y'all don't, y'all ain't doing nothing. Oh, you got. You got you got Joker. Oh wow! You got Beyonce. Oh wow! You really killing it. You got Hiana. Ooh wow! Nigga better have my money. They be like, no, that's some bullshit. This is where we at with it. You right. know what I'm saying? Oh damn! Shout, shout, shout out to my boy Cameron. I see him coming through here, man. Love from the UK, East London, East London in the building. I gotta go back to London, man. London is off the chain. If we swap places, you'll see light skin tire Paris working for food stamps. <laughs> 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 Do they got food stamps in London, nigga? Damn! Oh, Shout out to my brother Cameron, man, out there in the, out there in the, uh, uh, out there in London. And guys, don't forget if you guys see the Facebook Negro Menace for a link, come through, follow the page, um, like the page if you're on Facebook. Shout out to brother D Anderson, appreciate your brother. Um, go, go ahead, brother. I'm sorry, Lear. Thank yeah. you, brother D Anderson. The post you made about the lady, uh, 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 let's switch places, right? If we switch places, the men will be, we have, will be holding babies, talking about they looking for a new uh, wife mm -hmm. with a nine month old. Mm -hmm. How real would that be? Like, is, is that a good look? Would, would that be excusable? Or if we, if we switch places, you know, 14 dads, We'll have stripper parties for their fourteen-year-old girl daughters. You, you and, and know, I was about. Oh man, we should have. <laughs> you know, I mean, if we switch places, these things are okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? If we switch places, if I, if if I were, if I, if, if we were the fathers, the single mm -hmm. fathers, and we were single fathers at a seventy percent rate, 70, yeah. 80 percent rate. Right. And the women. Outnumbered the men, but they will they will marry they had more marriages than the men. Will we will, will we still look good? No. Wouldn't it be the women's fault because they don't know how to choose? It's not, it wouldn't be that. Mm, it's interesting. I don't understand. You know, I don't get it. Or how about how about if if <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, go ahead and drop it to him. Drop it off. So, how him, about bro. if we raised, if we had custody of the daughters, and the and 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 the sons, and we prepared the sons for college, and the daughters couldn't, you know, were quoted to have like, I don't know, fifth grade reading at a high school level. Will we? Will we? Will we be good parents? Hmm. You know. If our daughters really don't read or graduate like that, will we be, will we be mm -hmm. great parents? Will we? Matter of fact, if we walked around saying I'm the father and the mother, mm -hmm. you know how 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 good would that look? If we trade places, who's the who looks better? And who's the good guy and who's the villain? Because if if y'all do what we do and we do what y'all do, who 
who you gonna say had a problem? You you want me to take it further? Go ahead. Okay. Shout out to uh, brother Leroy. Thank you, brother from uh, St. Louis. Uh, all the work you uh, uh, for serving the country, but that's a military brother right there. I got a lot of respect for brothers in the military. Shout out to brother Leroy Honeycutt of St. Louis in the building. Go ahead, brother Lar. If if the the men put the women on child support and then told the children, your mama abandoned us. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Would, that, would, would that work? Uh oh. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. Oh, you know what? Let, let, let's not make it so personal like that. How about how about this part? Okay. If the men decided to wear blonde fades and the girls went natural, and when the girls had their natural hair, we told them they were self-hating when we had a blonde fade. Would we look like we make sense? No. Hmm. Or or I don't know. <laughs> What's what, what's uh what what is the dude's name? Uh, if the men was practicing, quote unquote, hypergamy with the women because the women got it all together, and we was messing up, we was we was going up the food chain, getting better and better women, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden we fell clean off a hill and wound up with nothing. Would it say we made good relationship decisions? What about if the men had? Seven different babies by eight different baby mamas. Will we be strong men? Because mm -hmm. if y'all want to, y'all want to say, you know, we we dogs, we this, we that, we we this, that, and the third. That's cool. You know, I want to know, you know, if we reverse it, are we still bad people? As a matter of fact, if the if the women made money and the men came along and said since i'm with you i've earned everything that you've worked for your whole life because i'm here mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. how much sense does that make if you trade <laughs> places <laughs> uh, i mean matter of fact if we switch places and we walked around talking about as a man, I won't protect and I won't provide because I'm a strong, independent black man. I don't need nobody for nothing. And these women are beneath me. How would that sound? Or I need a woman to help me learn how to be a man because I wasn't raised right by my daddy. Right. See, all of this stuff, once you reverse it, it makes absolutely no fucking sense. Right. So let's trade places because right. we would love to be y'all. Especially you chicks that's out of your mind. Y'all <laughs> say the most asinine things, and it's like, come on, are you serious right now? You know they be saying it. Uh, you know, it's oh my god, the most ridiculous shit in the world on planet Earth. I'm sitting here with a blonde fade, with a Ted Koppel on, talking about you want you to. <laughs> No, oh, no, 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 not Ted Koppel, nigga. Not yeah, Ted. I'm, I'm sitting there. Yeah, if we sitting there, we can put a Ted oh, Koppel. You know, I just want to switch it up and wear my Ted Koppel on Thursday, but you want you a white man. Like, oh, oh really? Like, let, let's trade places. Let's see how this ends up. You know, <laughs> let, it, it, let's see how it ends up when we say, okay, let's see how the men end up if the men wind up getting uh government assistance section eight housing oh mm -hmm. a bunch of scholarships mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh the church was helping out the men mm -hmm. uh uh the men could also you know benefit from divorce and alimony oh and the women were so chivalrous that they was doing stuff for the men the whole time and even with all of that help you know you could mix and match whatever you want the men still had, the women still had more money than the men. And they say, you know, and we say these women are stupid. We're going to use them for everything they got. And we still don't have nothing. I'm sorry. If, if, no, no, keep talking. I got to go to the restroom. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, wait. What, what is it called? What is it called? What if men... You know, uh, uh, 
had an Amber Rose nut walk to express our sexuality. You know, I want to, I want to, you know, I could go out and dress whatever way I want. Let's have a nut walk. You know what I'm saying? All the guys go around with the nut walk. It's like, excuse me? You know, this is because, you know, <clears throat> I want to express myself. I want to be free. Yeah. Yeah. This, this makes a whole lot, like if we switch it up, you know, if we trade places, the things that are being done make abs make absolute sense. Matter of fact, we we say the women are no good. They, they you know they can't do nothing. They're failures. You know, look, they ain't they ain't, they not nothing compared to white women. And then I don't know how can I put this. Then turn around and how, and as we emulate white men, because they're nothing. <laughs> we say the re there are white women, I mean, black women are the white women of the black community. Yeah, we're going to make articles about them. We that's going to make sense. You know, we're going to tell the kids to hate their mamas. That's what we're going to do. Your mama ain't no good. Your mama ain't stuck. So we're going to go through this generation. This is what we're going to do. After the nut walk. After the nut walk. You know, all these men going to say, you know, I'm using my youth and my good looks to get ahead in life. And, you know, we 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 gonna we gonna hit the wall at, at, at 30 30 35 and then we're gonna say it's all the women's fault. We've been getting freebies for the women for years. Now it's the women's fault because you know what I'm saying, I don't look as good as I used to. My six pack then turned into a cage. I you should still want me. I'm I'm a good looking, strong, independent black man. I'm just saying. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it makes sense, but that's how it makes sense. Yeah, you need to claim child support. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Arby. You're right. You're right. You're right. And and in the minute of getting child support uh uh and, and taxes and still wind up with nothing at the end of the day. Let's trade places. Let's trade places. Let's trade places. You know what I'm saying? The women are getting shot down by the police, by the female white police. And we're gonna tell the women, I supported you. We had a uh, all broads matter. We go, we gonna go out and march for these women. After this, right. all we gonna march for y'all. Oh, and by the way, when we march for y'all, <laughs> we we gonna we gonna have a whole tenants list that that states everything about the men. Oh, let you know what. Speaking about the men, if we switch places with the women, we trade places. We gonna say the women ain't no good, and we gonna we gonna be. Straight one day, by mm -hmm. the next day, mm -hmm. gay the next day, wind up with a baby and be in church and say, "Oh, let's say, you know what? It's because these women are no good." Uh, you know, let me let me let me do some real quick, LAR. Let me let me shout yeah. the super chat out. Shout out to Doctor D. This B ain't shit. Caesar, man, big Caesar. This nigga, he got all kind of money. That nigga, he he didn't got about fourteen. Still, nigga, give me your stimulus check, nigga. <laughs> so shout out to 40, shout out to Big C's are always supporting uh through the manosphere. Brother Maurice, I need this nigga on security. I thank you for the money, brother. Cause I, I swear if I saw you in real life, I'll run from you, brother. I'll I'll be running, nigga. I'll be like, <laughs> you be like, I'll watch you on YouTube. I'll be like, yeah, look over there. <laughs> he like the kind of motherfucker you don't fuck with, nigga. I just <laughs> shout out to brother Maurice. But let me do this real quick. Y'all need y'all do me a favor, man. Um Brother Hassani's Ali, uh, you guys know him from the Hall of Game. Coach Ali, he's been participating. He just started his YouTube channel. What I want people to do, and um, one of the things I want to do is I want a lot of the brothers in here. This is a new YouTube channel. You guys have seen him. He's been killing on the Hall of Game shows. I want you guys to subscribe to this brother's channel right now, if we can, right? Uh, what up, Brother David? Mr. Build him up. Um you guys are, 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 are going to be really, really, if we was in church, I said you'd be blessed. I want uh, uh, some brothers to subscribe and hit the bell on this channel, right? Because we want to help our brother come into, into the space. He's been writing for me on and off for about four years in the Negro Manosphere. Um, you will not be disappointed. Uh, so I want you brothers to go and subscribe and hit the bell. Uh, thank you, Brother D'Angelo, for seven. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. He, he got some good stuff. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's the Coach Ali. And it's something that we need in this space. So Coach Ali's corner, 32 subs. But I'd like to get it up more than that. I'm going to try to go ahead and push him on the game tonight. 
Uh, everybody subscribe at the bell. You, you guys know I don't. I never give no bums to subscribe to. So thank you, Brother Talib. Thank you, D. Anderson. And if you're in the chat right now, subscribe at the bell to Brother Coach Ali. Uh, we want to help him get his channel up. Uh, thank you, Brother Maurice, again. Let me just say this, right? And, um, you know, I'm in, okay, because LAR, I, I've been stuck in Uganda for uh, since January the 30th. And it is now April the 30th. So I did I did leave and go to South Africa for a few days, which is like four days. So I've been in, in East Africa for l relatively about 86 days. And um, a lot of a lot of times we think like. Because we from America and you go to someplace different, people have different mindsets. Well, that's not necessarily the case, you know, African women also are 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 kind of to a certain degree not as extreme but you know this whole thing of women can do everything that guys can do we are capable i mean i get it they're under different circumstances than women in the united states right but but it's funny how this message transcends not just to women in america but it transcends to women in africa because a lot of women in africa that i've come across feel the same way until shit gets real, okay? And you talk about trading places, and I think what we have seen during the coronavirus pandemic is that um, women really don't want to trade places, okay? They don't. Um, you know, can I say this without being sexist? I don't know. I'm going to say this. Uh, my, my, my granddad used to always tell us about my grandma. He always ignored her because she didn't know what she was talking about. He's always told her, man, I'm not listening to her. You know, when women say things that they talk about when it comes to women's rights and equality, women haven't really thought these things out, okay? Because many times, I'm not saying all of them, a lot of women just don't know what they're talking about. They just don't. Now, Women have so many advantages over men in society right now, especially in the West. It's ridiculous. I won't go into all of those things. But when it comes to being a man, women are not going to want that responsibility. Women are, in my opinion, much lazier, less motivated, um, want shit for free, um, want somebody else to foot the fucking bill. This is what women do. And then women want the easiest path to anything. Like, you, for the most part. I'm not saying all of them, right? We know that. But, but this is where women are at, okay? And, and what women don't want to do is ever be accountable. One of the things that men have to do is men have to be accountable. I'm, I'm going to give you an example. Black China. I got a story coming out on her. Ask me what Black China is doing right now, LAR. What is she doing this time? Black China has signed up for an account on OnlyFans.com. <laughs> okay. This is true. Black China is on OnlyFans. Now, now keep in mind, Black China is on OnlyFans. She pregnant? And she's pregnant. Now, this is this is this is what we're talking about. Now, here's something else. Okay. She has just posted a foot fetish video on OnlyFans, okay? Now, since she's pregnant, in fact, this motherfucker is <laughs> putting her nasty ass, thanking ass feet in some grapes and doing foot porn. I mean, but see, here's the situation. I'm going to get back to this. When men that make money, now, I mean, obviously, you know, they're here, they have men that have bad spending habits. But number one, Black China doesn't have um, any talent at all. She's just a fucking hood booger. Now, she was getting paid $10,000 per night to go just host a club. So she, she was able to weasel herself into popularity. That's what women know how to do. If they can't do anything else, some of them can fuck them, their way to the top for sure. So this is what Black China did. But Black China doesn't respect any of the money that she's worked for. Okay? 
She charges like $5,000 for Instagram post. She does all of this stuff, right? Money is gone. Why are you having to do foot porn on OnlyFans when you're pregnant? I mean, and it just goes to show you that even guys, when guys get money, we understand like, damn, nigga, I got a thousand dollars. If I fuck this money up, will nobody else help me out? That's one thing we all know. Every guy knows this. When we get our paychecks, that's all you're going to get. Nigga, you better do something. You better do the right thing with that money. Hello, press one. If you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, this is this is something that the men, men know when, when you get that check. When it direct deposit, that's what you got. Women, when they get their check, they got the check, and they're looking for your shit. Because, see, women can do that. But, see, what women want to do, women want to do that and take advantage of what guys are trying to do. They say they want to trade places, but they really don't. Because, see, if you were to limit women to only what they got paid, them motherfuckers would be selling coochie for Red Bulls. Like, for a week. That means, no. if niggas, and shout out to Donovan, you know I don't work, work with him anymore, but what Donovan made a, 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 a one of the very best articles on, on my site I've ever had in a, on a, when we were collabing. He said, men should stop helping women. Should stop helping. Men stop. If men stopped helping women, we will see about that trading places. Because the coronavirus... See, men didn't have to stop helping women. Coronavirus stopped helping the motherfuckers. When coronavirus came through and snapped the finger, the motherfuckers is helpless for the most part. Oh, my God, I can't do nothing. I'm quarantined and chilling. But now the Internet bill got to be paid. Now your rent got to be paid. Now all of a sudden you got all the – now they're going back to their phone, messaging little Ray Ray and Pookie and, 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 and uh, 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 Gibraltar that they've been ignoring for 35 years. Oh, how you been? Return a text message to you later. Because why? Men understand that this is the money that I got. I'm not going to get any extra money from if I don't work for it. And women don't understand that. And this is why when women, if you give them power in society, for the most part, it's going to be it's going to be destroyed. And it's not because they're doing it um, on purpose. And this is how women think. Women think of. I want everything should be given to me for nothing. I want all the stuff. You should help me. I'm a woman. Give it to me. They don't understand like, hey, listen, the guys out here that are earning, when they get their little whatever, that's all they get. And women say that they want to do. And the thing about that's what makes men so strong, because men, we work with what we have. When you see men that have a little and they go all the way to the top, they work for it. Women don't always work for it. I'm going to name some people who have literally fucked their ways to the top. Kardashian. How many niggas like Kardashian can sling dick to half a million dollars? Let me know. What, what, what nigga out there right now has fucked their way to half a billion? Where? Any of y'all? Have any of y'all even fucked your way into 50,000? 5,000. Stop. $500. Can any of y'all even hit somebody from the back and get, like, can, they, can you even get 50 out of home? No. Black China has fucked her way into millions. Niggas can't do that. You better be funny. You better be smart. You better be a hard worker. And, and men rely on skills and talent. Women don't, women don't rely on that. Women rely on <laughs> hey, if I gotta get this blowjob, I'm not saying all of them, right? But this is where we at. So all of this stuff about equal rights and we want the same things that men get is bullshit because you're not willing to do the same things. You're just not. I have a manager that talks about this shit. I'm gonna give back to you. My manager talks about this all the time. Um, you know, women can do what men can do and stuff like that, and then and then she's, you know, lazy every day, you know, talking all this stuff about what women and men can do. And when you see her, you know, or she comes over to my place, she's always in my refrigerator eating, um, 
stealing all the food, stealing Wi-Fi, stealing stealing uh, power chargers. I don't know what it is about African women, but they love stealing power banks. Okay, they fucking steal every borrowing power banks, borrowing iPads. Where's all this feminism? Why you don't have this shit for yourself? Like, why are you using my shit? You don't have shit. Well, you're not using it. Stop! Shut, stop! Just stop. Like right now is what time in the morning, LAR? Well, for you, for me, it's two o'clock in the morning. We it's just, six. I'm on you. I'm just now starting work. I've been working all day. Now I'm starting live streaming. I got one after this. I'll be up till seven, eight, nine, ten in the morning. The motherfuckers, I, I got them an apartment in the same place, right? They come over for for, for uh for a week or so. They order sleep. You know, googling sandals, googling weaves. You, you know, Jermaine, Jermaine. I know you're Buddhist, Pimaya player. I know you like her. Uh, googling weaves, <laughs> sandals, um, eating e eating all kind of pop tarts and shit. They're not doing nothing. But they go around talking about this shit as if they wanted to. Well, I'm but me and the, me and the editor guys, we busting our ass all night long. They over there eating grapes, knocking. I had to lock my door. Could coming over here stealing all the goddamn food. But that's what women do. They talk a lot of shit, but they don't mean that shit. And we really got to honestly stop listening to them. women. Don't know what women don't be be serious about that. All that stuff they're talking about. Don't listen to that because they don't know what they're talking about. I'm not being mean. They just are not. They're not serious about it. Most women, what they say, they don't mean it. I want equal rights. All right, we'll go out there and uh, build that road. Huh? What'd you say? No, 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 no. I meant no. See, you know, but anyways, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. No, I mean, let's just take that feminism thing for 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 let's trade places. And I'm gonna be upset at women because men in the Middle East are oppressed. Men in in, in Central and South America and the Caribbean have a have a bad rap. Men in Australia are getting treated bad. So I don't like you here because of them there. I ain't never been there, though. I never been there. Or if I go there, I go for a vacation. You know, you ain't getting a, 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 a how do you figure that? Kimmy, how you figure that out? <laughs> you know, this is how it goes. This is this is how it goes. Let's switch, let's switch it completely. You know, just like he was talking about with the work. So basically, we need to we need to trade places, ladies. You get to work construction. Uh, you get to railroads, truck drivers, electricians, uh, uh, contractors. You get to lay foundations and slabs. You get to put up homes. You get you, you get to bring in all the appliances. You get to make all the appliances, right? And and since we're trading places, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make your life miserable. You know the flip side of happy wife, happy life. See, if you don't make me happy, even though you did everything, then I'm gonna fuck your life up until you do what I want you to do. Until you make me happy. Until you make me feel good. You know. Let's trade places. Let, let us completely trade places. All these dates. No, no, no. Y'all got to, you got to take us out. You want to get to know me? You got to take me to every restaurant that I want to go to. I want wings and beers from here to eternity. And I might like you. I might not like you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, let's trade places. Let, let's trade places completely and say, you know what? I'm attracted to a hood rat stripper who's been to jail. She turns me on. That that's that's she's a sex symbol. But you nerdy bad built chick who who's out here working all day and night and paying your bills. When I got nowhere to stay or I ain't got no more money, I'm gonna come get with you to make your life better because you need somebody like me in your life. Let's trade places. You know, how, how you know? How dare you? What is the what is, when we did the brother pill last week? 
Let us, we're going to sit in our cars and have, and, and say, it ain't no good women out here because, you know, half of them, you know, if, if they got a good heart, they sex is trash. They too short. They too tall. They too fat. They not the way I like them. How come I'm a 10? I'm a 10. Now, I could be, I could look and be built like Danny DeVito, but I'm gonna say I'm a 10. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, now she might actually be a 10, but that's not the point. I'm a man because I'm a man. I get extra points because I'm, as a man, I'm a 10. And even though she's a 10, she's a five compared to me. And what I need is her to do all the heavy lifting for my life because that's what I deserve. I deserve it. I deserve her. You know what? She has to do what it takes for me to get my hairline back. Yeah, let's trade places. Let you know, let's completely trade places because it's so it's hard for it is so hard right now. It is so hard, ain't it? Ain't it? For if men could just pick up the telephone and call a girl or call another girl or call multiple girls and get out and get things handled. You know, I wow, let's have a bunch of girls to give us uh 10 iPhones a piece. Yeah, that'll work. You know, absolutely. You want to go on a trip to Vegas, to the Bahamas? It's some girl waiting to take you. And then you can act like you, you don't even know them. Let, let the men be in hotel rooms taking selfies all over the globe. That's right. We, let's trade places. We're taking selfies all over the globe. It's just, a, it's like a foot in the background in the mirror. You know, we're we not, we not doing nothing. It's not us. It's not us. Matter of fact, it's y'all. Y'all women always cheating on us. You know, y'all, y'all women are no good. Y'all always cheat. Yeah, let's let's do that. As a matter of fact, <laughs> let's completely trade places the whole way. Let let our fathers tell us we need to date older women, and then we we date the older women. We come back and we meet to them and say they took advantage of us. Let's trade. Let's completely trade places. Y'all want to be y'all want to be men? Okay, cool. Cool, no problem. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, I sure can use a sugar mama right now. Let's trade places. Because y'all got it so hard. Y'all got it so, so hard. You know what I'm saying? Let the men start dressing like dressing like women with perms. <laughs> now, I'm more of a woman than you. Why? Because I feel like it. Yeah, okay. Y'all want to trade? This, this is how it actually looks to us. Let's trade places. We're gonna meet two the hell out of y'all. And it's gonna be an ugly dude. That say it's gonna be the ugliest black dude you could think of. It's gonna, you know, I can't, he's dead, so I'm not gonna use him. Who who is brother? Somebody says just ugly. You know, just just who the hell who the hell wants him? Like okay. put it at his worst. Because he still got the eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah, he do work. He, he look worse than me, player. Yeah, so get Forrest Whitaker out here. Yeah, me too. I'm me too in these women because they always were touching on me when I was young. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's what we're gonna do. That, that's how we gonna we gonna act like it's 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 them. They've been making R and B songs and rap videos demeaning us. You know what? You know what? See, look look, look at these two pictures on the screen. Let me explain something to you. Since we go, we gonna trade places. I want the women won't like me because I'm darker and bald headed, and he's light skinned with a Jerry curl. He got good hair. This is why we're different. You know, only only the light skinned Jerry curl perm head dudes get get attention. Not us. Not us dark skinned bald head dudes. They said we bald headed. Did it? <laughs> bald headed. Did it? Yeah. Let's trade places. You know, th this is this is my biggest concern in life. You know what I'm saying? To get my right. hairline back. You know, right. It's a protective style. Wow, you got real shit to worry about. I let let you women work eight, 10, 12, 14, 20, 25, you know, 24 hour days and, and, and come home and let me tell you, I've been, I am so busy. Today I got up and I made some cereal and I watched a little television. And I went, I went to get my hair cut for three hours. And, and then I went to get my sneakers sized 
for two other hours and I went to work on the phone and I am so mentally drained. I don't know what to do. Could you please get up right now and take me somewhere? Let's try your places. Let, let me tell you, you know what? Let you go out and build all the society and, and let me tell you I'm the backbone of society. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's let's completely train. Let, <clears throat> let, let me say I'm the, you know, I cook and let all the women be the best chefs in the world. But you know, that's not that's a problem. That, that, that's a problem. You know, let, let me be so in the fashion. You know, but all the women are the best designers in the world. Okay. Let me tell you, you are no good because you didn't get me a, a, a Louis Vuitton wallet. You, you, how, who are you? You gonna, you gonna give me a Gucci wallet? You can't give me a Gucci wallet? You ain't nobody. Who are you? I got a closet full of knockoff Gucci and Louis Vuitton wallets and fake shoes. You know why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I, I got to keep my stuff up. Yeah, yeah. Three hundred dollar haircut. Yeah, go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's switch places. Cause y'all got y'all. Cause y'all are so oppressed. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's switch places and let men invade all women's spaces. Everything women do to relax, we're gonna be in all the spas, all the nail shops, all the hair salons, all the brunches. You know what I'm saying? If women, if, if women was watching sports, we're going to be at all the WNBA games because we just can't let them have a good time by themselves. You know what I'm saying? If they had, if they had a WNFL, we'd be at all the WNFL games not knowing the plays. You know, let, let, let's switch places. And telling you, you need to pay for us to go and, and, and fuck up the game. Yeah. Right. Let, let, let's just uh, – if women start liking video games, we doing all the gaming now. You know what I'm saying? We we all in uh uh um uh, ice skating 2K right now. We doing you know we doing pirouettes and and triple axles because she can't have no she can't have fun without me. Mm -hmm. What is she doing? Yeah, that's what we gonna do. That's what we gonna and while she goes to work all day and all night, we gonna sit there with Viagra's in our pocket. Like you can't satisfy me. You know, she gonna ask us for some of that, some of that meat, and we gonna be like, "Oh no, you pressuring me? Oh, I got a headache. Oh, my left pet hurt. I can't do nothing. Why are you always touching me?" And we gonna expect her to be wet on, on drop, drop over there. We gonna call her in the midnight. You want some of this? Well, you better drive through this hurricane and come get some, because I ain't gonna tell, I ain't gonna hold it any much longer. It's gonna go down in thirty minutes if you if you don't hurry up. Yeah, let's do that. Let's switch. Let's see how hard life really is for you. You know, <laughs> let let y'all go to the to the WNFL draft and they say and, and we gonna go through your phone while you getting picked because it's gotta be about us. Yeah, every time you ladies get rich, we gonna say you know what you gonna take care of your daddy. You gonna buy your daddy a house. You know, uh -oh. you, you know your daddy did everything for you. Your daddy worked two jobs for you. <clears throat> That's right. He worked at In N Out Burger and a vegan restaurant for you. Like, let's do it. Yeah, all she wanna say that like, this is a problem, right? You know, <laughs> we're gonna take our semen back. My body, my choice. <laughs> Mm -mm, you can't have mm -mm. that fertilized egg ain't yours. My sperm, my my semen, my choice. I don't. Mm -mm, you can't have it. You can't have it. What you trying to have my have a baby? Uh 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 uh. Yeah, let's do that. Let me get Black China pregnant, and she got to pay me. <laughs> and let me live work. Let her be a millionaire, and me we worth twenty seven fifty. And say, you know what? This 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 child got to keep up the same lifestyle as her mama. Yeah, let, let's see how that good that works. Let's trade places, please. I would love to. I mean, I know it's so hard for y'all. It's so hard for y'all. Matter of fact, let's trade places and say, you know, black men have bad attitudes and we double down on it. 
Mm-hmm. And then we go around crying talking about, I don't know why don't nobody want to be with a black man. It, the women keep telling y'all y'all got bad attitudes. Don't nobody care what them women say. So let us go out in public and just be and just act crazy with everybody. Let's do that. Let, let, let's go in the middle of the coronavirus and we're gonna pick up uh 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 Ted Copples because we can't go outside right now. We can't work. Because, you know what I'm saying, my Ted Koppel ain't in place right now. Let's do that. Let's say you women failed us for that. I'm going to tell y'all ladies why y'all failed us. Because you, because we have to work. Everybody in America has to work, but we failed, y'all failed us because we got to work too. Absolutely. Let's trade places. Because you want to, you want to not work for the rest of your life. Okay, let's, let's do it then. You know? Let's let, let's completely do this. As a matter of fact, let us be these bad people, you know, and, and trade places. And let's say, you know what? If y'all don't want us, black women, white women want us, and then white women don't really want us like that. But we keep saying we gonna go. Let you know if if black women could get with white men quicker than black men could get with white women if we trade places. But we can say we're gonna swear, we're gonna leave it up because you know y'all don't know what y'all doing. Y'all don't know a good thing when y'all see it. Let's let's do that. Can can we can we do that now? As a matter of fact, let's trade places in this aspect. Let us say we need the finest black. This black woman got to be the finest. She has to have, she has to be the she has to be five foot four, a uh, 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 122 pounds. She got to be thicker than a snicker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if she ain't like that, and she got to be the prettiest face and she got to work. She got to make at least six figures. Uh huh. And she got to have the wettest box ever. And she got to have the best sex ever. She got to know how to ride and do everything. Right. And if she not like that, I can't get with her while I'm busted. You know what I'm saying? I got three kids by seven girls or seven, you know, and seven kids by three girls. It really don't matter. I'm busted. And by the way, let me turn around and, and say, oh, I'm happy swirling right now. And I get with uh, 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 Betty Wright. So, you know, I just need me a, a below average man. Yeah, let's switch places. Let's completely switch places. Let's, let's do it all day long. All day long. All day and all night. Let's see who wins. What you think about that, O'Shea? Uh-oh. He said, fuck that. He ain't even switching places. He moved on. 124. Only thing. Four. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. You know, for he attention. He said, shout out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. no. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish your point. Yeah, well, well let, let me just say this and then I'm going to stop. Let's switch places and let me okay. let all the men say they don't need y'all and we making only fans accounts. We just busting, we just busting, it's, it's sausage Sunday. We just busting it wide open for money. But, but we don't need you. Yeah, let's do that. Let's trade places because it's so hard. What y'all doing is so hard. <laughs> oh my God. So um let me uh let me let me say this. Um let me give you a few shout outs. Shout out to Brother Big Daddy. Uh shout out to Brother King George, Dr. D. Uh, I love to cook and have my one pay all the bills. And let me just let me just do this right. Also, thank you, brothers, for um, because again, we are moving some of the content to the Facebook fan page. So, you know, they're allowing the nigga to uh do some over there. So, I want guys to on the face if you have Facebook account, right? Because they're going to be content on our fan page. The brother pill will be over there, like the the pre recorded coming soon. So we're just trying to move uh to explain our platform. So. Um, make sure that you like the page over there and then follow the page. We need 10,000 followers over there. We only have 9,200. So make sure that you uh, follow and like the Negro Manosphere on that page. Thank you, brothers, for being here. Let me know if you do that, if you have Facebook and you follow the page and like the page, um, I'll give you a shout out. So thank you, brother E-Man, for doing that. I appreciate you because, again, we will have content that's over there that's not on YouTube. All right. Uh, let me give another shout out, Brother King George. Uh, and so, yeah, 
LAR, I don't, I don't, I don't really have nothing to say. This nigga RBR is trolling me. But um, I don't know, man. You go ahead, go ahead, bro. I'm gonna let you go ahead and do your thing, and then um, I got to go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I will keep it short. I, I'm just saying. Okay, let me let me <clears throat> calm down for a second. Go ahead. Go so, ahead, go ahead. all I'm saying is, if black men and black women trade places, y'all will see how crazy y'all sound. Because let's be honest, you don't want to be men, and you don't want to be women. I don't know why you don't want to be women, but that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, if we trade places, we'll have the easiest life in America. Because basically, we've been able to we've we have used black women our whole lives to get ahead and say they ain't do nothing for us, and then still wind up with less than them at the end of the day. So let's trade places. If you want to be a black man, you know, because you act like it's so difficult for you. But do you realize, you all really don't realize if, if you are struggling that bad, why is hair an issue? Uh -oh. Why are nails an issue? You know what I'm saying? Why is attention an issue? Because a person who's really going through it, you know, black men ain't, here, ain't out here talking about, oh man, American society got me hating my hair. Damn. You know, American society, I... Got me hating my skin color. I'm not getting enough attention. I'm not getting as much attention as white men right now. That's because you, we not. Our struggle is a whole lot deeper than that. But 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 let let us really switch places, so y'all can really see what it's really like to actually have a problem. Because mm -hmm. right now y'all don't really have a problem like that. Y'all got a lot of self inflicted. Uh, wounds that y'all say is everybody else's fault but your own. But if we switch places, we'll show we'll show you how to make it work. With you know, with y'all doing all the heavy lifting and us taking part of y'all money, and we won't wind up broke. I promise you that. You black y'all want to be millionaires and billionaires, and and, and, and we benefit of. I promise you, it ain't, these men ain't gonna be broke. I'll these men will put you on, you, you know, or be with y'all and y'all worth $20 million. He not going to mess it up. Huh? I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. Shata la bolsha. See, if you want, you, you wanted to be, you want to be married and you want to trade places. He, he, if you trade places and, and you go to work all day, I can, when you come home, the house ain't going to be messed up. You ain't gonna have to clean it up and, and cook dinner too. See, if you trade places, you realize y'all ain't really doing shit. <laughs> if we trade places, if, if we yeah. trade places, these kids gonna be motherfucking honor roll students, all of them. Right. Let's try if we trade places. If we trade right. places, we're not gonna say no stupid shit like we need these kids to go back to school because that's the only place they eat and that's the safest place that they got in the world when they living Hello. with you. Hello. Hello. If we trade places, shit's gonna be completely different. Hello. And y'all don't want to hear all that though. You know, th th this is bullshit. But let's trade places. Let's see how hard y'all really want to work. Because mm -hmm. if y'all we we could we could do it. Let's 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 trade places for, for a week. I bet you all you women will come back and quit forever. You never want to be a man again. I'm telling you. Black women trading places with black men is like white men trading places with black men. I got it hard. Jim, you really got I got it really hard. Okay, let's switch places. Oh my God, I want to be white again. Oh no. This is crazy. <laughs> so come on, if you, let's trade places. Let's see how let us see how hard your struggle is. How hard it is to, to, to sew hair into your head. You know, how hard it is to chill out. You know, you you y'all don't even work out. Y'all buy shit to make y'all act like y'all got a flat stomach. Let's see how, how hard that is. Let's see how hard that is for the fellas. You know. <laughs> oh fuck! He said y'all just what did they buy to hide their stomach? Yeah, let's do it. Let's oh, do it. Man. Okay, I y'all want to do that. Y'all want to do that? Y'all want to really do that now? Y'all want to? 
<laughs> oh, LAR. LAR, no, he crazy. Oh, that boy, no, he ain't got no sense. So, yeah, like I said, uh, you know, LAR, you know, you, 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 you shut this one down for sure. Um, man, ah, shit. I think, I think we need to sum it up. Um, we're gonna try to come back tomorrow. I, I want to talk about this this fourteen year old uh, hit a uh, fourteen year old stripper. Or you know what? There's a good thing, right? This white, this African woman posted a video. She removed her weed for the first time, and for this is an ugly bitch too. God damn! I know she. I'm sorry. I know she's Nigerian too. Like I, I'm just. You can always tell. It's I'm not this Nigerian women are good good looking. Just not her. It's always the the African immigrant chicks getting 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 these damn uh, interracial video. God, y'all look so y'all look so dead. Y'all don't know how bad y'all make y'all people look, man. Um, this motherfucker look like me, but worse. And I'm an ugly motherfucker. I, I, I and this 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 is oh my god. Yeah, it's this 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 Haitian and Nigerian cooning going on, man. On on the come on now. I, I just ah. Uh, Oh shit! Wait, 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 wait! Y'all look at that. Uh, Gabe on the wrong. Oh, wait, I gave Gabe the wrong thing. Gabe, it's the wrong. I, I gave you the wrong link, brother. He on the wrong show. So y'all have oh. to see this video. We will be. We got to do. We will be talking about this. Um, yeah, because it's gonna be. A, that's gonna be cracking. But cut to the chase. You might want to cover that. This motherfucker right here, and the dude was talking, telling her like, "Oh, your hair looks weird. It's oily." It's um, he disrespecting her and all the swirlers. And you know, I'm gonna get them LAR. I'm gonna get them swirlers in the comment section. Yeah, we can put the date music on there. Like, oh my god, I can't believe he said that about your hair. Yeah, Not we're, gonna daddy. Them. Not we're gonna roast, we gonna roast them up. I love roasting up swirlers. That's my favorite fucking thing to do is roast y'all up. But, um, anyways, guys, we're we gonna go over to the hall. Um, I want to just say thanks to LAR. My my brother, man, he he being patient with me. Um, you know, my internet is not always working, you know, and um the Hall of Game is like a show where you have like 17 niggas on the show. So if the internet goes down, it's fine. But the brother peel is kind of hard to do that because it's like two or three people. So if the internet's not really working that well, it's hard to really do the show. But I want to just say, man, um, uh shout out to LAR. For helping us take us to another level, and I want to give a shout out to all you brothers out there. Um, it's been a long time since I got over a million views in a month, and um, you know I rebranded. Um, I rebranded uh, my main page, my main my main content, and you know you guys know we had um, you know a split of the of the manosphere. A lot of people, you know, it's been kind of boring. Uh, you know the 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 the, the older brothers kind of went their way, and the, and the newer guy the guys kind of went theirs, and. Um, but I can I can say that uh you know the 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 schemes and stuff that you know you brothers have really supported us on um you know the celebrity junk and the new concepts for me has been has been doing well I know LAR's page has been doing very good I thank you guys right because when you rebrand your content it's a risk so I want to thank you brothers for supporting us and the pill will get stronger thank you for supporting the Hall of Game um. You know, and, and, and supporting LAR. I've been saying, I remember LAR was doing live streams and it was like 30 people. I'm over there every day. He'd be two, 300 people. So I want to thank everybody for supporting the brother, man. And uh, we're going to go right to the hall of game for the tech show. But, um, uh, and thank you, brothers, for um, liking the page. I'm not going to mention because some of you guys have your real government names on there. I'm not going to mention that. But thank you for uh, subscribing to the, clicking on the link, going to Facebook, liking and subscribe, uh, following the page. Thank you so much. Go ahead, brother LAR. Thank y'all. Absolutely. Now get, get to the hall of game. Get to the hall. You're right, right, right. And LAR, you know, when I get my Patreon money, I got something coming to you, player. No, 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 no. You bet that. You know, I got something coming. And, and shout out to Obsidian, right? Because the, the, the thing is, you know, like these shows, um, like with everything that we're doing, it's so, it's so much work. Like the hall. Um, this one, the celebrity junk, the um, other shows, it's a lot of it's a lot of work that goes into all of that shit. So sometimes I'm not able to get to everything. 
RBR has been trolling me. I'm going to roast his ass again. But, guys, click on the new link. Go to my O'Shea Duke Jackson channel. Shout out to David Johnson. And we're going to go right strictly to the Hall of Game podcast, and we'll be starting there. Um, and I'm going to send out a new link for that one to Gabe. I know Gabe is here. Let me bring Gabe, Gabe, Gabe. You don't know. Uh, it's my fault. You're on the wrong show, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you said you made it. You made it up here at one time on the on the on the brother bill. But uh, what up, okay, what up? so we're gonna. I'm everywhere. <laughs> we, yeah, so we're gonna take. So we're gonna uh, send the right one. Shout out to Gabe. Thank you, okay. Lar. See you I'm over on. there, brother, uh, brother, uh, brother, uh, Lar. Over on the uh, Peace. Uh, everybody on the hall. Peace, y'all. All right.